Hi, I'm Leo Leung, a Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud. And today I'm going to talk about the differences of building high availability and resiliency on-prem versus in the cloud. So when you're thinking about HA and DR on-prem, let's build a very, very simple classic architecture here. So you have some amount of compute, some amount of database, some amount of storage. Typically, when you're thinking about HA on-prem, you have to make sure you have enough resources that are separated uh, hardware, separated network, things like that, in order to build that replica. Okay, so first and foremost, the first concern you have is, do I have enough infrastructure to actually successfully replicate this infrastructure? Second, I have to think about the latency between that first instance and that second instance. Right, so let's call this primary, let's call this secondary. Now, if you're thinking about DR, this is typically within one data center. If you're thinking about disaster protection or resiliency, now you gotta think about having, do I have another, another space in order to run additional infrastructure? Do I have the space? Do I have infrastructure deployed there? Do I have consistent infrastructure deployed there? Same software, same patches. What is my latency between this first data center and this additional data center? And is it sufficient for me to meet my recovery time or recovery point objectives? Okay, so many, many considerations. And this is why most customers actually do not have a uh, secondary site. They do not have a uh, disaster recovery site because of the complexity, because of the cost. Compare that to the cloud. Much, much simpler. So you're still going to have your classic application, your first instance. Now, when you're thinking about HA, really, really simple. You're, you're literally selecting, in most clouds, you're literally selecting the fact that you want additional resiliency you want it protected uh, from hardware failure. So in Oracle, for example, you can literally just pick fault domains for your, the various components of your application, and that's it, okay? So you don't have to think about, do I have enough infrastructure? What is the latency between? Uh, it's already uh, available for you. When you're thinking about your resiliency, it is, again, simply a matter of determining you need it and then configuring it. Because uh, in Oracle and other clouds, you already have other regions. With Oracle, you have a backbone between regions that has very, very low latency, uh, resiliency, privacy for your data. And again, you're not thinking about these things anymore. Right? You're not worrying about your own data centers and your, your own physical facilities or the latency between them. You're not worried about, do I have enough database storage? Do I have enough database infrastructure or storage infrastructure or computer infrastructure? All these things are uh, already available and it's a matter of just configuration. And one final thought is, instead of having to run these all the time or having physical hardware uh, on site in a separate facility that's cold? Am I utilizing these things properly? You can deploy very minimal resilient infrastructure in the cloud and have it spin up when it's actually needed. Okay, so in addition to having it just being available, you can reduce your cost dramatically and, your, and increase your resiliency in the cloud because of that flexibility and that agility. All right, so those are the fundamental differences between thinking about and building HA and DR architectures on-prem and in the cloud. Thanks so much for your time.